tag so weird. No, oh, it looks just like my other boy. Okay. Hello, everyone. This is your girl, Irma, coming to you from Arizona. Um, actually, today is a very beautiful day. As we all know, Arizona is a very, very hot, hot state. It's like super hot. And our monsoon season is not here. I mean, it has, but it hasn't. But anyways, today we are going to be doing a review of these little mini, little mini makers. As you can tell from the back, you are able to do eggs, waffles, McMuffins, sausages, so many things like that. Um, these are perfect for people who are trying to eat healthy. I know a lot of people who are in keto uh, use this a lot. We're going to be doing a review of this. This is a three mini maker. It's got a waffle, it's got a griddle, and it's got a little grill. They are about, eh, about four inches of cooking surface. They are non-stick skillets. Well, not really a skillet, but a waffle maker, a griddle, and a grill. What are we gonna do? We're gonna open them and we're gonna give you a review. And they come in these pretty turquoise. You got turquoise, you got red, you got white for your little pants that they show you in the front. See, as you can see, we have red, we have white, and we have turquoise. All right, let's open one up. Oh, these are super cute. They're so tiny. Oh, we open it. Oh, voila! That's so cool. And, oh, and it comes with your own little, uh, how to set it up. It comes with your instructions. It tells you not to touch. Uh, you don't touch this part when you turn it on. From what they say in the instructions, it gets very hot, so make sure you always touch it from the little slap. It's adorable. It's got your cord. Uh, you open it, it's flat, put your egg in there, shut it, cook it. Turns out to be really, really good. Well, not that I know, but from all the years of watching uh, IHOP and like Denny's and just going to places like that, I know they do this. It's so cute. Like I said, they are about four inches long. It's got a little blue, uh, a blue light when it tells you it's ready. It lights up, comes with your own menu, how to set it up, instructions, you know. From what I'm reading here, you can carefully spray it with cooking spray, which is awesome because it, uh, it doesn't stick to it, though it does say it's a non-stick uh, griddle, but you can never go too careful and just put some cooking spray. It tells you if you're having problems, you know, and it also comes with a ta-da with your own little cook recipe. You're able to make from pancakes, brownie pancakes, breakfast sandwiches, and it comes with a recipe. Sorry. Actually, it looks all really good. You can make a hash brown or an egg McMuffin. It tells you the time to cook it. Though it does say it also in your recipe uh, how long you should cook it for, but just follow the instructions very carefully. You put it all in the back, in the back, in the back, back. Ah, 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 ah. Next is our red one. It's a waffle maker. Ooh, I love waffles. Always wanted to make uh, cinnamon roll waffles, so hopefully this has a little recipe that we can do. And as you can see, it's falling apart from the bottom, but so cute. Like I said, these are so cute and so tiny. I think I'll probably might be using them uh, my everyday use, especially the waffle maker because I'm so obsessed with waffles right now. This is what it looks like. It's your normal waffle maker. It's just in a tiny version and it's really cute it's red it has your little blue light when it tells you it is ready to be cooked it also comes with a little book obviously it comes with instructions in case you have problems it tells you not to touch it it tells you you can spray on it 
as you can see. It tells you not to touch it, tells you it's hot, tells you where to grab it, tells you the light, tells you you can put cooking spray, uh, your everyday instructions, tells you how to make waffles. Well, obviously it teaches you how to make waffles. If you can make it from biscuit waffles, oh, my God. Um, after I'm done doing this review, we are going to be testing this out. And I found, I found the recipe that we are going to try. I was just talking about this with you guys. It's just really weird and coincidence, but uh, do a little cinnamon waffle. I am so going to try this after I am done talking to you guys and give you a review of what I think and to be honest with you, like I said, this is going to be your everyday use. This will be something your kids will love, this is something your husband, your wife, your friends, all of these people will love these recipes that are in there and I am so down, 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 down to try this cinnamon waffle. It's gonna be great, so stick around and find out how it turns out and if I like it. Because like I, I said before, sweets are my guilty pleasure. I love, love, love sweets. <laughs> uh, but not as much as I love my hot sauce. Of course, I'm Mexican if you guys haven't realized that. And I just love everything with hot sauce. Everything. Chips. I love food with hot sauce. I am really weird <laughs> when it comes to hot sauce. I could put it on anything, pizza, hamburgers, hot dogs, corn dogs, all that junk. Up next, we have this cute little grill. Huh? It's so cute. I wonder if you could like cut a little steak and put it in here. So you open it, it comes in, in this little green box, which comes in this little cardboard that keeps it all together. It's too cute. Too cute. Whoever came up with these are perfect. And they are amazing. Oh my god, I can't wait to start using them. Uh, but as you can see, you have your little grill. And... Uh, you can put tomatoes, onions, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can put like a little steak in here. Not too big where it just won't close and it'll take forever to cook. Uh, I don't know how long they preheat. I'm pretty sure it's about 10 to 20 seconds for it to preheat and be really, really hot. So be careful when you touch this. You don't want to burn your hands. That and you don't want to... Excuse me, you don't want to accidentally open this when you have your food in there and burn it and just go ah, 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 on the floor. It also comes with your little recipe book and your instructions and all these amazing things that you are able to do with them. Uh, you are able to make a chicken panini, a cheeseburger, obviously a healthy cheeseburger. You are able to grill apples and you're also able to grill pineapples. I've, I've never tried grilled pineapples, but from what I hear with it, well, you know, from what I hear from friends and family, it's really good. I mean, there's a difference between pineapple on your pizza and like grilled pineapple. So that's one thing I'll have to try out for myself. You can make quesadillas, you can make crab cakes, you can make s'mores. Lots of, like I said, lots of people will try these little products for their healthy fitness life that they're trying to do. Like I said, most of these people use this for keto. Um, I heard so much good things about keto, always wanted to try it myself, but for right now, I stick to what I do because that's what works for me. I personally couldn't go on keto. Oh, maybe I can, but I choose not to because you can't eat bread, you can't have rice, you can't have potatoes, you can't have none of the white starchy food. You can. But let me tell you something, going on keto is very expensive. All these expensive like butter and, and like milk and like flour is just 
way it's ridiculously expensive but if you are on keto I am so proud of you keep doing what you're doing you're doing amazing you're working out you're eating healthy you are just in the right path of a great life like I said I can't wait to try this waffle maker and make homemade cinnamon waffles oh I am a huge fan of uh, Cinnabon. Oh, Cinnabon. <sighs> guilty, guilty pleasure. Like, it's great. Uh, I totally recommend getting getting this. You've got your waffles, you got your grill, and you've got your griddle. And all of these will be amazing. Uh, hit the subscribe button, like my page, hit the little bell button on the bottom to hit uh, to get notifications of when I upload and hopefully you follow my journey along like I said if you guys have any recommendations of the type of food I should make or a video I should watch a reaction I should do a place I should go visit and check out let me know in the comments below and I will read them and try to message you guys all back but until then I'm gonna go have some fun in my kitchen to go do some cinnamon rolls, cinnamon rolls. Thank you so much for joining me. This is a young girl and I am signing out right now because I am hungry and I can't wait to eat. So I will see you guys all on my next video. Thank you and have a good day.